We come across news of ransomware attacks, data leaks and privacy breaches every other day now. So it's not surprising if you're wondering how secure is your Android device. Well, if you're willing to take some steps, you can tighten up the security of your Android smartphone. Hey guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today I'm going to show you how you can secure your Android device against malware or ransomware while securing your data and privacy. Before we get started, make sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications for all our future videos. Now that you've done that, let's get started. Let's start off by talking about how you can secure your Android device against malware or ransomware attacks. Well, the good news is Google offers a few security features in Android itself. In fact, it recently rolled out the Google Play Protect feature for all Android devices running Google Play services version 11 or above. Google Play Protect is the latest security feature in Android, available in Settings, Google, Security. It scans the apps in your device to make sure there aren't any security threats. If you want to improve your security further, you should enable the Improve Harmful App Detection feature because it lets Play Protect scan unknown apps installed from sources other than the Play Store for better detection of any malicious code. Let me be honest here, the best way to protect your Android device against malware or ransomware attacks is through common sense. Just don't open any suspicious links or emails and don't download apps or any other content from not so reliable sources. If you follow this, you should have no problems at all. Also make sure to install the latest software updates available for your device because it might feature a security patch for the latest malware or ransomware out there. Along with securing your Android device against malware or ransomware attacks, you should secure your data too. You must be thinking that you're a casual user and you do not have any sensitive data on your phone. Well, trust me, you do have important data on your phone. Thankfully, Android offers some really cool features to secure your data. First up, I believe you should encrypt your device. While Google devices and other high-end devices are encrypted out of the box, it's not enabled on all phones out there. Well, you can head to settings, here go to security and tap on the encrypt phone option. This option encrypts your accounts, settings, downloaded apps, app data, media and other files. Once your device is encrypted and you have set up a screen lock on your phone, your data will only be decrypted when you enter the PIN, passcode or pattern. You must be thinking how is that different from your regular PIN or passcode protection? Well, the data saved on an Android device can still be accessed through various tools even if you have set up a log. On the other hand, if you have encrypted your Android device, your data will only be accessed if you enter a PIN, passcode or pattern. Before you encrypt your device, do note that this might slow down your phone just a bit and you cannot disable encryption without doing a factory data reset. Another thing you can do is to make sure to store important data in the internal storage of your device. Well, that's because external storage cards use a mix of EXT and FAT file system. So when you connect your device to a PC, the applications on the PC have block level access to files on a SD card, thus having the ability to plant viruses or any other code. That's not the case with internal storage as PC apps don't have these rights to files on the internal storage. What you can do is, you can use the adoptable storage feature in Android that lets you add external SD cards as part of internal storage. This encrypts the SD card storage while also making it way more secure and fast. While securing your Android device against malware and securing your data is important, securing your privacy is also very very important. First of all, I'd suggest you to lock up your phone properly. If your device has a fingerprint scanner, that should be good enough. Otherwise, you should use the pattern lock option because that's the most secure out of the lot. Plus, you can make patterns invisible, so no one can notice the pattern you're using. Also, I'd suggest you to disable smart lock because even though it's a handy feature, it unlocks your phone automatically in some situations, which might result in someone taking your phone and getting through your privacy. Not so smart, is it? Other than that, make sure to create a separate user account so that you can hand over your phone to anyone without worrying about your privacy. So when a friend asks for your phone, 
to take a picture or make a call, you can just switch user accounts quickly and hand them the phone. No worries at all. Then you should also make sure to enable two-step verification in your different accounts. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Google, almost every service out there supports two-step verifications. This will make sure that you always have control of your accounts and you can never get hacked. And to make the process easier, you can use apps like Authy and Google Authenticator. Other than that, you should time and again go to Google's security checkup page to keep a check on the devices that you are logged into. Here you can also check out the permissions different apps and services are taking from your Google account. I'll leave a link to Google's security checkup page in the description below. While those were some native ways to secure a random device, there are some third-party apps that let you secure a random device even further. And no, I'm not talking about antivirus apps. For instance, you can use the Privacy Guard app to make sure anyone trying to peep into your phone isn't successful. The app brings a shade on your screen and you can configure this shade to make sure your chats, emails and sensitive data is hidden from onlookers. A very handy app indeed. You should also use a VPN app like TunnelBear to make sure you're secure when using your phone on a public Wi-Fi network, since anyone on a public Wi-Fi network can try and get access to your data. Plus, with the VPN app, you can access geo-locked content and do a lot more. If you're someone who has a habit of losing phones, you can install an anti-theft app like Cerberus, which brings a ton of features. It has the usual lock, locate, wipe and ring features, but other than that, the app lets you take pictures or record videos to identify a thief and brings you features like location history, network information, the ability to start a remote shell to execute commands and a lot more. All of this remotely using Cerberus's website. Lastly, I'll recommend you to use an app locker to protect your apps. Also, you can install an app like KYMS which lets you hide, password protect and encrypt all kinds of files like documents, photos and videos. Basically, you can lock down files and unlike many other similar apps, the app is smooth and decrypts your files instantly. Well, those were some ways to secure a random device. I'm pretty sure using these methods, you'll be able to secure a random device against malware or ransomware attacks, while also securing your privacy. So try them out and let us know if you have any doubts in the comment section below. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.